Welcome to the Love Them Knives Studio. Isham Design, best tech, reticulin. It's crazy good. Well, my friends, what do you think? Isham Design, right there, if we can focus in on it. We're getting a little close there. But in any case, Elijah Isham, he's done a lot of stuff. Megatherium, Minotherium, Zeta. Uh, wow. And this one. And his own stuff. So uh, he's all over the place. This one with Best Tech, and I remember, and I'm not going to take any credit for it, but I remember meeting with the Best Tech people uh, at uh, the 2018 SHOT Show, which is almost a year ago, and uh, telling them, because I had run into Elijah at the SHOT Show, and, well, by the way, actually... I took this picture. I was standing there at the Wii booth, which was on the third floor. In any case, there's Elijah. And I think he's either discussing the Zeta. Yeah, I think that's the Zeta that was on their table. Wasn't up for available for sale yet. Not for a while, but in any case, yeah. And then there's Joe. These are Wii Knife people. There's the man himself. In any case, yes. The reticulin and so this is a titanium frame lock flipper it's a small knife but guess what i mean the first thing i thought about was my wife she's got this she took off with this knife man i mean i got this rye hummingbird and uh it was gone so here she's got it with the little damascus steel blade and stuff but i that was the first thing i thought of and guess what no it's much bigger than the little hummingbird. So if you have a hummingbird, and I know everybody's kind of been going crazy on these hummingbirds, at least when they first came out, and I still see some mass drop stuff going on with them. So yeah, but look at the difference in the size. So this is actually a bigger knife. Yet, yet, let's toss this one over here. Yeah, even though the little hummingbird, it comes with, yeah, same thing, right? And this one does too. This comes with a little, like a little sheath, a little hard plastic pop in like that. And baby, that fits in there tight. I mean tight. You can see how this has almost separated the plastic a little bit. It's so tight. Um, little Big fluffy bag. Big fluffy bag. What's in here? Oh, microfiber cloth inside. But look at look at the fleece inside here. It's like, what the hell? Uh, and these little wooden poles and stuff on this. So it comes in this box. Um, if we can get everything pulled apart here. Kind of show you how it comes. Yeah, so the knife here, the sheath here, and then they drop the chain in here. And there's paperwork. These things run like 111. I think that's what the uh, price is online if you look. And you can get them in the Damascus. And let me pull this baby out of here. You can get them in the Damascus like this, which is showy. It's interesting, right? Or you can just get it re regular S35 VN blade. And oh, White Mountain Knives. Uh, that's where I got mine. I saw they were out. And 111 bucks, you know. There's the S35 VN uh, blade one. So that's a little bit different model number. But you can get them in blue, in bronze, in silver, and of course in green. And uh, if you wanted to know some of the stats here, right there, 5 inch overall length, 2 inch blade, 1.75 inch cutting length. Uh, there you go. Blade thickness, CPM. Well, this is S35, this one. Drop point. Yeah, it's uh, it's all kinds of crazy. I like it. I, I, I like the Hummingbird when it first came out, too. 
and that's a lot a lot smaller so let's let's do this let me grab my my measuring tape and let's do the hummingbird first just kind of get a baseline so that's one point oh an inch and five eighths at best and three and three quarter overall inch and five eighths three and three quarter and oh that's over two inches so that's more like about 53 millimeters and five inches overall, which is uh, 12 and a half, not quite 13, pretty much 12 and a half millimeters. Now, blade stock, is it that important? Nah, not really, but they said 0.12 of an inch, 2.43 millimeters and is that what they said? 0.12? I'm getting 0 0.95. Right there. Um, 3, 0.387 of an inch, which is not quite 10 millimeters fat here. So fairly thin. The lock up here is about 40%. And obviously it's got a little lock bar insert in there. And we can put our cheater light on it because I did not take this apart. But you can see in here, it looks like they weight relieved a little bit up in the scales. Right there. And down there a little bit. And then there's your lock bar insert. And of course, Best Tech has always been using ceramic bearings. So I can imagine those are ceramic bearings in there. And obviously, it's an, an internal, yeah, blade stop, as you can see it turning through here. I got the green, don't know why, just because normally I default to blue, so I thought I'd get the green as opposed to the bronze or blue. Little cutaway here in the blade, I, I, it's not usable for me, so I'm using the flipper tab, which is snappy. It's snappy. It's good detent. You're not going to throw this blade out. It can't be gravity flipped. It's just too light. And do we have a big, huge mess here? Yeah, we do. Maybe we ought to get some of this away from here. But yeah, it comes with the, uh, the little sheath and, of course, the chain, which you can put on this and, and have carried around your neck. You might be tugging on that sheath awful hard if you're going to pull that from around your neck you hopefully you don't cut your neck off with the with the chain because that is in here that is solid now whether it loosens up after a while i don't know but ooh, that i mean that's in there really good love the design of course it's elijah isham design Yeah, I like it. Backspacer is also anodized. You need titanium, uh, titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer, pocket clips, crazy cool. I haven't tried to put this in my pocket. If I put it in my pocket, I ain't using a pocket clip. I'm just dropping it in my pocket. You got a forward position here that you can use to try and get at least three fingers on this knife. And will it cut anything? Let's find out. What do you think it weighs? Or did you already cheat on the sheet? We were gonna put it on the scales. So there's your Damascus. Uh, you know, not, not overly impressively sharp, but not bad. Where is my scales? Here's my scales. Hiding under a lid somewhere on my desk. What do you think? 1.25 ounces. Now, let's weigh. Where did I just throw that hummingbird? There it is. 
let's weigh the hummingbird on here see if we can keep the the weight of the chain off of there but just uh yeah half an ounce so this big heavy one um let's go to grams 35 grams ain't much to it good looking knife let's see how they sell um i think they'll be going to be real popular especially you know if you're not the person that was going to pay $200 for the Megatherium with Kaiser or the Escaton with Wii that was, you know, way more expensive than this. This is the way you can have an Isham knife at a fairly reasonable price. And uh, it's cool. Sometimes mini is, uh, is pretty interesting. I like it. I'll tell you what, my wife saw it and eyeballed it. Now I'm in trouble. I'm going to have to try and... It's like, you know, here it goes. They're going to be stable mates in her closet. She goes, oh, but they have them in blue? <sighs> ah, yes, my friends. But yeah, right up here. Uh, actually usable as a knife. Enough of a blade. It's not just a novelty item. So check it out. Backspacer, pocket clip interesting design almost like uh you know you almost think that you could flip this clip on the other side uh i haven't taken it apart and i don't know i don't think you can i have a feeling there's a machined area that this sets in and there's not on this side but uh whether you want the damascus or the s35 for all practical uses i think if whatever is practical uh but uh decorative this practical probably the s35 because i don't know what this is i don't know the exact makeup of this steel but we could get it tested <laughs> so we'd know or just a little bit more research in any case comes an interesting box like i said all fitted out with places for the chain, the sheath, and of course this crazy pouch that I have seen before on one of the previous models. And so, yeah, pretty, pretty neat. You guys, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much. Take care. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. The Isham stuff is pretty damn cool. Take care. Stay sharp.